What's going on everybody? And in this video, we're gonna be talking about some rules that I just wish I knew before investing that could really save you a ton of money and potentially even make you a ton of money. So we're gonna look at some market news that's going on right now, why it's so important to follow these rules when it comes to investing. But let's go ahead and before we do that, all I ask if you enjoy this type of content and you wanna find stocks to buy, stocks to watch, you know, all those different things, Make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications so you do not miss out on any of my future videos. But let's go ahead and get straight into the video. As we can kind of tell, the S&P 500 has not been doing too well over the past year. I mean, if we just kind of go ahead from the top of January, the beginning of the year to now, we have fallen a pretty good amount. You know, we're trading. I mean, if you kind of just look at the, the line I just drew, this is a pretty long area of resistance. And so looking at this, kind of, we're trading on it right now. So I do like to see where the S&P will continue to go. We did just cross the 100 day moving average over the past month. This is bullish news, but over the past year, just to show you, losses can be made. You know, markets do not just go up. It is down 12.6% over the past year. Still, over the past five years, when in, when in doubt, zoom out, we are still up 52.37%. You know, today, we're looking pretty green. You know, everything's up pretty conservatively green. Only things looking down right now is like Tesla, Comcast, a few different other companies. But overall, today's looking like a pretty good day. Now let's go ahead and talk about these rules that I want to talk about to you. So here are five rules that you need to know in investing before you go and just put a ton of money into the market. And if you have already done that, just apply these rules to what you currently can. So first up is don't become emotionally attached to a stock. You know, no matter what, never be emotionally attached to any investment. This can just lead to drastic losses and it can lead you to our another rule of not wanting to take profits or cutting your losses quickly. This is a huge lesson that I learned, especially seeing the market fall. You know, I saw a ton of stocks that I had bought and it was just a massive bull run. You know, I didn't want to sell. I continued to believe in these companies and I was honestly a little bit emotionally attached to the investments that I had and they were up. I was up incredible amounts. Some of them I was up like 400% and now I'm down just because I did not sell. You know, you got to cut your losses, have predetermined price targets and have predetermined stop losses. Price targets meaning you buy an investment, for example, at about $10, you have the hopes that it can go to 14 or 15. Once it hits that price, take your profits, okay? Don't become greedy. You know, bears make money, bulls make money, and pigs get slaughtered in the market. And have stop losses. For example, if you bought that stock at $10 and you have a stop loss, if it hits $8, you're just gonna cut your losses. Sell once it hit $8, you know? You don't want it to continue to fall further, and you don't wanna just have hopes that it's gonna rise back up in the future because it could just continue to fall. Third, buy the rumor and sell the news. And this is more so for trading and if it's something that's a little bit risky, but a lot of stocks, especially these riskier stocks, they get price run-ups, you know, a ton of big rumors are coming out, a ton of articles come out of the stock and it pushes that price up and up and up. You know, for example, a company might be awaiting FDA approval on a product and over this period of time that they are waiting, all this bullish news is coming out and people are buying up the stock and the price is just running up and running up. However, 99% of the time, whenever this news comes out, even if, for example, if it's good news, like if they did get FDA approval to continue to go on with their product and potentially sell it out to the public, the stock is going to fall. You know, it could be 5 10% a single day, it could be more, it could be less, but it's due to investors buying up the rumor and then selling the news. That is a very common theme that we see in the market. Fourth is be flexible and keep up to date in the market. So companies change, it's a part of the it's a part of business, okay? And so does the economy and so do markets. So make sure that the, your investments are still going in the direction of your thesis as to why you're invested. You know, just read news articles. CNBC is good for getting overall general market basis. You can go to Finviz, click on the news, it's completely free. You can just see all the news that's coming out. Go to Yahoo Finance, Google Finance, look up your stocks, look up your investments and see what is going on in the market. Another good way to keep engaged in the markets is literally just watching YouTube videos and looking up what's going on in the stock market. Look up your ticker, your stock, if it's a very common one, and I'm almost gonna guarantee that there are videos out there talking about your stock and what is going on. And the last rule I wanna talk about in this video is never buy a security or a stock 
because someone told you to or because somebody else is buying that security. So always do your own research before you invest and don't risk money that you cannot afford to lose. I can't stress that enough. You know, if you cannot afford to lose this money, don't invest it, save it, you know. Furthermore, another reason why I say like don't buy a security just because somebody told you to or somebody else is, every trade involves a buyer and a seller. And that someone buying that security could be buying a security that is going to plummet in no time. So for example, let's say your friend told you to, I'm just going to stock XYZ. Okay, random stock, you know, it's not even real. Let's say your friend told you to go buy stock XYZ because this, 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 and that. You know, you didn't really listen and you're the buyer on that trade. You bought it at $20 a share. Okay, somebody sold you that for $20 a share. Each person has a thesis as to why what they're buying and why they're selling. And if that thesis for why that person sold at $20 per share is better than your thesis for buying, which in this example, you really had no thesis as to why you bought, you could be the loser in that transaction and you could just lose a ton of money. So you always need to do your own research before you invest and don't let that happen to you. Be smart with your money and do your research before you invest. But everybody, that is going to wrap it up for this video. So if you did enjoy it, make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications so you do not miss out on any of my future content. Thank you for making it to the end of this one, and I will see you at the next video.